You know how I know that the culture is starting to shift? It's the fact that Hollywood can't control the access media anymore. Like, you get negative reviews in mainstream publications. This, this is shocking. Like, you wouldn't see this four years ago. And if you want to know just how bad Hollywood is like, take into account that it's more entertaining to watch YouTubers and content creators shit talk about movies than to watch the movies themselves. I mean, there are, there are just so many other examples that I could give. Um, another one is that you don't really get to see memes made out of movies anymore. I, I remember like the last time they made a good movie with the end game. There's still memes about it now. Like the last time they made the, a good video game like Skyrim, the, the, the arrow in the knee meme existed for a reason. But like these movies, they come and go. There's no memes coming out of it. There, there's no buzz around them like like maybe you'll see the mainstream media go oh this is the first ever something something and then you never hear about it again um usually it's when an actor or an actress says some dumb controversial shit and you hear about that take and people talk about the movie in that context but other than that everything is a sequel or a prequel it's boring it's bland and now even the press starts calling it they, they literally can't hide about it you know like they, they can't just pretend it's not there so they're going to start talking. Now, Now the thing with Rachel Ziegler, I, I will say this. She has said some really offensive stuff. Like, as an actor, you're not supposed to be divisive. You're, you're not supposed to impose your politics on the public. But she did. She did. She's following the trend of a lot of actors who are untalented and like to flap their mouth. Like, like notice how talented actors don't do this. Like, very rarely do talented actors talk, right? Like... Or if they do, they even talk against the grain. Like, for instance, uh, Morgan Freeman. Like, Morgan Freeman is the type of actor that if he were to play in a movie called uh, Watch the Paint Drying with Morgan Freeman, you would have butts in seats. Like, people would just go out of their way to see that movie because it's Morgan Freeman. No one is going to do this for Rachel Ziegler. Like, how many people are going to go out of their way? Oh, it's it's Rachel Ziegler. We got, we got to see the movie. No. Right? So because you have like these actors that, that do not drive the public, they, they do not have the stardom, um, they, they have to say controversial stuff in order to get attention. In her case, it was that Snow White, um, the, the story of romance between uh, the, the prince and the princess is outdated, right? So, so like you, you're old basically if you believe in that. If you believe in true love, like, like you're outdated, you're old, it's time for a modern audience. And it turns out that w when you're basically telling that to the public, the people who like the original Snow White, you're basically telling them that it's not for them. You're basically telling them to save their money. You're basically telling them, oh, don't, don't, don't come and watch this movie because it's not what you expect. I mean, you're literally doing the job of bad critics for them. I, I want you guys to imagine, like, if you're making an independent movie and you're spending, like, 30000 or $30,000 from your pocket, why would you hire an actor that's there to self-sabotage your production? Why would you hire someone that is basically saying stuff that you know some of your audience members that would have paid to see it are now going to go out of their way, not just not to see it, but also shit talk on your production? It makes no sense, right? But for some reason... Hollywood is self-destructive right now. And, and I want to point out to something else that's interesting. Like this uh, writer, Nick Schrager, um, says that uh, Rachel Ziegler doesn't have the charisma of Jennifer Lawrence. So, so this is like a, a really masked way of saying that she's not as sexy. Now, now, I know you're not supposed to articulate this, especially not in civilized society. Like, like, you're not allowed. Literally, you're not allowed by the culture to say this. Like, you can get in trouble. You can get your social media account banned. You, you can get fired. You're not supposed to say what I'm saying right now, okay? This is, like, high-level edgy shit. Uh, sex sells. Like, if you look at what Hollywood used to do in the 90s, they would go out of their way to find the most sexy person in the United States. Like, they will cast the most beautiful people that they could pick from hundreds of millions of individuals that wanted the job. It's literally why it was called a star. Like, like those people were shining with beauty. And it wasn't just, like, the women, the men as well. It was to the point that I got a message from 
a subscriber of mine who's from South Africa. He's black. And he was saying that he was watching uh, old Hollywood movies and he was impressed about the casting choices. And, and people in Africa would say, it's like, well, like, are the Americans that beautiful? Like, like they look more beautiful than, than any other person we meet in real life. And that was the point. Like, they would go out of their way to cast the most beautiful people that they could imagine. So the question is, you know, is, is uh, Rachel Ziegler not beautiful? Well, she is, but she is no Lawrence, right? Like, like she's no Jennifer Lawrence. This is what the culture critic, Mr. Nick, is trying to point out. Because I know a lot of people who went out of their way to see the Hunger Games because Jennifer Lawrence was on the box. And, and the costume design and the makeup and everything was to highlight her cleavage, was to highlight her ass. You're not allowed to do this anymore. Okay? Other nations are, though. I mean, China does it with its gacha games. Uh, Japan is doing it with anime. It's just like Hollywood, for some reason, have self-imposed on them that they don't want to sell stuff. And, and again, like, using sex and violence is the easiest way to sell something because you don't need a good story. You don't need anything. It's just like, it's something that worked since ancient Greece. It's something that would work now. But for some reason, when, when atheism has at an all-time high, Hollywood just flat out doesn't want to do it. They do it with the men, though. Like, they do it with male characters. But when it comes with female characters, they self-impose ruination upon themselves. They're like, no, this is what the public wants to see. Average people. It's not about uh, necessarily Rachel Ziegler. <clears throat> but again, she's no Jennifer Lawrence. Like, I, she's not one of the most beautiful people in America. Let's put it like this. And this is what Hollywood would have casted in the 90s. And of course, you know, they will be like, oh, well, but what is beauty? What is beauty? Uh, get a Hollywood director from the 90s. Like, even if he can't explain it, he will just show it. J just go with what he says and it will be fine. Trust me. And it's also the fact that it's a prequel, right? Like, more lack of creativity, more lack of imagination uh, for writers that can't create their own universes. It is so boring. I, I really despise and hate prequels, by the way. It's kind of like watching something that you already have spoilers for. Like, I wouldn't want to watch Attack on Titan, the prequel. Like, I, I already know which are the characters that are going to survive. I already know what's going to happen. I, I, I already am aware of the grand story where it needs to go. Unless you're making, like, a prequel that takes place, I don't know, like, 5,000 years before. And, and even then, like, like, why just not make something else? Honestly, I would rather have a sequel than a prequel. Um, so, like, yeah, all of these together is probably why uh, The Hunger Games is not going to be good. The casting choices, the fact that she's very controversial. She's not Jennifer Lawrence, as the critic points out. Um, yeah, it's bland. I mean, they're not going to do anything edgy or, you know, any commentary that's not something that you can find on CNN. Uh, and and it's, it's meh. It is meh. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.